for coordinated killers. It was a Deinonychus, a raptor. Deinonychus belongs to a group of dinosaurs we nicknamed the raptors. This stiff tail acted like a balancing cord. The dinosaur was able to change directions quickly. He could jump, he could leap into the air. He was an incredible animal. It's an oversized claw on the second digit of each foot. Finding a group of Deinonychus. Paleontologists had always wondered if raptors hunted in pack. The raptors were relatively small predatory dinosaurs, not much larger than a man. They stood five feet tall, were eight feet long, and weighed close to 150 pounds. But what they lacked in size, Dr. Rostrom was quick to identify three deadly weapons that were used in the battle. And they would just tear out a big chunk of meat. Although its teeth were formidable weapons, other meat eaters, the killing claw. What I was able to do. Consider, did they? They had a, a very large optic lobe of the brain, so there's no reason to think that they could not have hunted at night. Having that incredible eyesight would not just be helpful at night. We have a, a sense that this animal could really move around with a fair amount of dexterity. Why would a small dinosaur like a raptor need the ability to hear low frequency sound by an unknown force? Clearback. For him. They would probably stop. Deinonychus was all about agility, moving around quick, a quick, relatively rapid movements being important for Deinonychus. Equipped with teeth and claws, the raptor pack came ready for it. Deinonychus, of course, has the strength and the weight. Deinonychus clearly has raptor weapons. Speed and agility, it was one of the most deadly forces in the animal kingdom. Only this day, they've got some unwelcome company. These dinosaurs that ever walked planet Earth. The raptors, the deadliest of all dinosaurs, are about to strike. Quick, intelligent, and cagey, they single out the weakest member of the herd. They would stand off at a distance and look at the herd. They're not just gonna run in and try to attack the first dinosaur they find. Higher trouble. Their eyes lock onto their target. Stir slowly, deliberately, silent, except for the hissing of their breath. What makes a raptor so incredibly they're fast, they're strong, they're agile, they've got razor sharp. The raptors rush in initially in hopes of startling the herd. If they can separate him, they have a better chance of taking him on. Terrified and disoriented, the herd stampedes. Their immense legs make a deafening sound. Number one, they do it because... But the second reason why they do it is because when you run, it exposes the weakest guy, and that... Out of all the hiding places, the raptors rush in. The pack... They burst out of their hiding places, and their job is to inflict as much injury as they can. The raptors seem to come from everywhere at once, at times leaping more than 10 feet in the air. Deinonychus are incredibly fast, agile, they're very swift predators. The Deinonychus are absolutely going to go for his unprotected flanks. If you can cut through the thick hide, Instinctively, Tenontosaurus fights back. They're harmless. Their tail is sort of designed like a baseball bat. It's not wiggly like a crocodile's tail. One swing of the tail scatters the pack. Although Deinonychus is a nasty dude and he's got some pretty wicked weapons, could end that guy's life. His head. The other raptors scramble to regroup. Then they strike again from every direction. 
one of the favorite attack methods. Rush in, slash them with your hand claws to safety. You allow your prey to slowly bleed. That attack doesn't do much damage. That's like attacking a rhinoceros with a fork. The raptors quickly up the ante. Deadly, swift menace with a singular goal. Kill. They take the claws from their hands and dig them into that deep hide and hang on. Raising their foot, and they begin to slice and cut the Tenontosaurus. The raptor strikes hard with its lethal killing claw. The Tenontosaurus launches an unexpected counterattack. Once the Deinonychus land on his back, that Tenontosaurus is going to roll over, using his weight to crush them. Two raptors now lie dead while the wounded Tenontosaurus is still standing. The raptors are losing too many members of the pack. But to the raptors... To muffle their footsteps and the vibrations of their foot. With quick, erratic moves and the predatory intelligence of a giant bird of prey, the pack mounts its... There's a raised ridge behind the Tenontosaurus of his merciless attackers. Under attack, Tenontosaurus has got to have his senses working. Trapped in a thick grove of tree, the raptors fly into action with white-hot intensity. Now, using their hand claws, they're holding on. But it's the killing claw on their foot that helps them dig deep into the flesh. Once they began to slice open the ground, the assault intensifies. The raptors are now in an all-out feeding frenzy. As he fights for his life throughout this horrific assault, or members of the raptor pack. But after an exhausting effort, this dinosaur finally loses consciousness and falls to the ground. and begin to feed on the internal organs of the Tenontosaurus. Like a pack of wolves, these Deinonychus are fighting for the best parts. The speed, intelligence, and cunning of the raptors is too much for the lumbering beast. and pushes away the rivals for the tastiest morsels. D different times. The thing about extinction events is that, uh, of course, they're very bad.